Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna play some Evil West. It looks like a fun action brawler RPG type game. So, yeah, that's all I know about it, really. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, let's not do that. Since the time of the Founding Fathers, dark forces have been preying on America. As the fight against these vampires continued, a secret organization has trained people with remarkable skills. The agent's duty is to protect ordinary people from the forces of evil. Nunzu chatty with his gut sprayed all over a train carriage. I know how to shape an explosion, Edgar. It's coming. Wait for it. about the bridge. Oh, Barrow can suck my dick. He's the Secretary of War, not the Secretary of Bridges. Uh, let's go have a look-see. I go high. Ooh. All right. First of all, subtitled. Should be on. No subtitles. And uh, I need camera. Right. Oh, much better. Nah, it's not that bad. Jesus! This looks pretty good. Uh. Let's give it a try. Oh. <laughs> uh. What's that sound? Stop whining and start moving. <gasps> you smell that? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? Those leeches? Dodge. 
double tapped roll. Seven, 1864, 1881. Arranged in order of vintage like fine wines. All dead. Fuck. Boy, you better make all this worth our time, Chester. This game looks great. It runs great. Hold. Oh, same with uh, Spider-Man, huh? These creatures looks amazing. Ah. Healing ability recharges real slow. Very careful about that.
you. Oh, picking up extra health on the ground should recharge your heal. Same. That would be cool. feel about everything that is interesting load <clears throat> making it feel very arcadey which is yeah i'm guessing what they're trying to uh christ pull. worst damn barbecue ever Okay, unlimited ammo. It's good fun, but the gun is not supposed to be like a big damage dealer. That looks like it shouldn't have hold your weight. Let's dance. can smell you, Chess, you lousy skunk. Okay. Uh, come here. Join you? 
Do they really want me to get this, huh? Fine. Healing damage with a gauntlet reduces the cooldown of healing dispenser. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, hello. Oh, that's your big chunk. I assume that was supposed to be way harder. Now, if I didn't have a little bit of ammo. But it looks like ammo regen anyways, let's see. Yeah, if I hold the button, I actually don't have unlimited ammo. Because I can just click it and now have unlimited ammo. Hmm. Interesting. It's very interesting how the chip works. Still on your father's leash, I see. I was a vampire. Heard you were on your way to the gathering, Chess. What's this? Catering? Why, I have no idea what you. That big shiny ball out there is no good for your sensitive skin. The sun's not to know what they'll do to me. Fun game. Let's test that theory. No, 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 Richard, stop! Belmontville! The, the gatherer's in Belmontville! <laughs> Excellent choice, Chester. And since you're feeling so damn helpful, we're gonna be needing a guide. <laughs> Consider it a promotion. Give shit. Belmontville's a long way from the manor. We're on a clock here. We've been hunting Debano for three months. What's another few hours? <sighs> have it your way. But your father's gonna have your ass as an ashtray if we don't make that presentation. You're retired. What's he gonna do? Fire you? <laughs> okay. I'm very interested in this story so far. It's a very cool setting. Like Wild West, steampunk. Belmontville Mines, huh? Oh, we're gonna be walking blind into a damn maze. And if our tick friend here is telling the truth, the Bono's gonna be right in the middle of it. I don't think I'm in a position to lie to you. <laughs> That's the spirit, Chester. Now you lift those fancy illusions, and who knows? Maybe you'll make it out of this after all. The glamour! <laughs> Even I have my limitations, Mr. Gravener. You want a limitation? How about walking around without a head? Crawling with familiars. No question. <laughs> and where do you think you're going? Judging by that tone of yours, Sounds like I'm making sure Fancy Pants here doesn't make a run for it. In broad daylight. That's why we need familiars. I'm starting to question your qualifications for this job. Those ass licking. <laughs> Tick lovers should be shot on sight. Ah, what the hell. Maybe we can play with dynamite out here too. Right, Jess? I'll make you a new waistcoat. I don't believe my tailor would like that. See? You're bonding already. Ah, eat me. Ooh, we get a rifle. That gathering won't find itself. Huh? Move it. Here's what the rifle can only be shot while aiming. While the pistol can be shot from the waist. No 
I'm taking it. You know the can is right there in front of you. Oh, shut up. I told you my sight's not recovered after the change. Hey, so you're telling me it's not the booze? This creature looks. I wish we can turn off this HUD that I could like look at the picture. Only one line. Oh, it's getting. Oh, honestly, at this one, I looks, I look more like an Inquisitor from 40k. It's amazing. Family of Calvert, oh, another tick wannabe. Well, that's not gonna happen. how they forced me down here like that there's a whole other way to go got it This game runs great. It's probably it's mainly due to the lighting, which I completely understand. I'm gonna hang your head on a wall. Are you now? I 
got the main spot. It's like too early. Oh, Look, I'm. I have a memory of a goldfish. Okay. I don't use something consistent. be close by money oh this one tells you that you go down oh god those are, those are some big ass pocket book fucking maze gotta be about right. God, it's not okay. Please don't tell me I have to fight a giant spider. I'll bet my wow, last dime to bring us here somewhere. Dead end. Great. Hmm? You seeing this too? Take it off. Mr. Rentier, on a first date? What do you take me for? You're right. Maybe a little light to set the mood. No, no need. I see it now. Of course. The glamour. I'm on it. Hmm. Today, Chester. Please. I need to concentrate. It's not that easy to sever the illusion from its source. What's the source? You don't want to know. switch. I'll take the explosives, you get to Bono. Is this about the bridge? It's not not about the bridge. <sighs> Got the damn train, didn't I? Ah. 
Oh my god. Okay. <clears throat> Tech architecture, but that that's something. It's hard to compete against the species that keeps on growing and advancing with their technology, creating new and more dangerous weapons of war and other engineering marvels. As I see it, the real struggle is nature versus technology. Instinct versus genius. We have allowed those naturally subordinate to us to transform themselves from prey into predators. If we don't alter this trajectory, eventually they will murder us all. enough. Thank you. 
are unique species, brothers and sisters. We are not bred. We are not born. We come to life when we accept the gift of change. Our powers are many, and they have served us well. The art of glamour has given us safety through secrecy, but I am afraid we are becoming the victims of progress. Sooner or later, human technology will find a way to see past our illusions. They will expose and demonize us and make us their ultimate enemy. Inevitably, we will become their inferiors. Mm. Jesus, it's huge. When did they build this? And how? That looks cool. So cool. Um, hold V to jump forward and smash. V does nothing. <laughs> Is it V? Game. Is it V? Wake punch. Okay. So weird. Honestly, I will rarely pick. Oh, that does nothing there. Right. I mean, interrupting is fine, but I'd rather dodge.
open that gate somehow. Got a few more to go. Must be the entrance. Looks even bigger up close. Well, let's crash their little party. We consider ourselves proud hunters, predators. But that pride sometimes prevents us from growing as a species. Internal divisions have weakened us. Our numbers dwindle while their numbers grow. But it's not too late. We can still survive, but to do so, we must be ready to adapt. We cannot be too proud to evolve. be more powerful, but they will crush us with their numbers. Listen to the voice of reason. There is a thin... Enough. Your lines thirst for all-out war with the humans endangers us all. Peace and honor. Without the shoe... The wolves go hungry, yes. But the day is coming when the sheep will outwit the wolves. Haven't you been watching, brother? The humans have harnessed the power of steam and lightning, and they grow mighty. If our hubris allows us to grow fat and lazy in the shadows, they will soon have the power to hunt us down like dogs. <sighs> And so, you propose war. War suggests there is a chance we might lose. I propose we strike. With my new asset, we can control the change. Reclaim the Sanguisuja's rightful place at the top of the food chain. Control the change. Are you mad? Even suggesting such a thing is blasphemy. Dominic, brother, these are blasphemous times. While my methods may very well be at variance with our tradition, I can tell you one thing. If we don't adapt, we will perish. Enough. I will not allow you and your bastard breed to, to lead us. Into annihilation. Peter Daval, for the high crime of conspiracy against your own kind, I sentence you and your line to the true death. I told you, Father. They wouldn't listen. We had to try, Felicity Mikara. Our work will be a lot easier if we can help them understand. If we can't... Then... We... FORCE THEM TO!
Could have brought a bigger knife. Some people get a gold watch when they retire. I got Susan here. <laughs> Should have asked him how to get out of here. Too late. He won't be of any use for a month or two. Wait. What about Chester? Well, what are you gonna do? Now that is how you shape an explosion. Damn, we're late. Now at least we won't be going back to the manor empty-handed. God, it felt like I've been playing this game for hours. It's been less than an hour. Oh, I'll be damned. That's a new way to spend taxpayers' money. James Harrow. The people's hero. I heard the White House sends him golden toilet paper. As long as he keeps the presidential ass clear of tick trouble. Feed him well. We've got a lot of ground to cover tonight. You're not staying for the presentation? The whole institute is in town. Uh, I'll pass on the corporate back padding session. I don't need another retirement lecture. Here, take this to your father before it wakes up and starts cursing us all to high hell. Great, so I'll just tell him you've traded killing vampires for swilling cheap bourbon? Tell him whatever you want. Fine, skip the presentation. But you ain't getting away from a final drink with me afterwards. Home sweet home. I can't remember the last time we gathered together in the manor. Mr. Rentier? At ease, boys. My father in his office? He is. Hello, sir. Director Rentier spared no expense to improve those gauntlets. Officially, they called it a cholera epidemic, but truth was they were dealing with a terrible outbreak of amateur necromancy. The entire institute was engaged in the hunt. Okay. Veil of Secrets. Long time no see, Mr. Rentier. Mr. Rentier! You remember me? From my first year of cadet training. I'm the shortest one of the bunch. But the very next year, I grew like a weed. Had to buy all new pants. Director Rentier sure looks edgy. Something's up. I can smell it. Oh, you're not going to read this one. Train fare here cost me an arm and a leg. Sure hope it's worth it. Edgar and my father in the Civil War. Right before the bloody Battle of the Wilderness, Central Virginia. His life changed forever during that fight. Highborn nearly killed him. Badly tore up his leg. Edgar carried him in the dead of night across enemy lines to a field hospital, but the surgeon could only do so much. After that, Dad could no longer function in the field. Heavy as hell. Is it in there? Where the hell you been? 
Thought you got bitten by some tick. Some of those fangy fellas were hiding out in Providence. That's why the president ordered the western border secured. Did you hear about those one? Grave nurse with you. He sends his regards. He's afraid you'll try and talk him out of retirement again. I don't believe either of us want that. You know, he did risk his life to get this for you. That's Harrow's trinket. I'm sure you'll both be rewarded accordingly. Edgar isn't some civilian looking for a medal. This is all he knows. Your institute saw to that. My institute? <sighs> this isn't about Agent Gravener, Jesse. We are on the cusp of great progress. Great change. Today's presentation is of critical importance to the family. After which... Edgar is family. After which... I expect you to step up to your duties here at the manor. With all due respect, Director, I am a field agent, not a paper pusher. You're a rentier! <sighs> Why must you always make me spoon-feed these things to you, Jesse? There are bigger things at work here than running around in caves slaying beasts. I do believe someday soon you will see it my way. And if you don't, it's my responsibility to force that change. Now, leave me be. I must prepare for the presentation. And send someone in here to clean up this mess. Ones that grew tentacles? That's a first. Mr. Rendier, Agent Feathers is waiting for you in the lobby. You're just in time. The presentation should be starting soon. What do you got for me this time? Oh. oh. I don't need that. Gimme. I miss a chest. Well, damn. 